This channel needs something new, something fresh, something to bring Minecraft back into the limelight. That's where the theme comes in. I'm a hobbit, but I haven't had my adventure. This series will help me do just that. I used MCA to place a copy of Mount Doom a hundred thousand blocks away from where we are in Hobbiton. I must take my ring the distance to destroy it in the fiery inferno, even though I'm dressed as Bilbo? This series will be like no other, except maybe a, a simple walk into Mordor and Far Lands or Bust, except I'll actually reach my goal. This is the 100,000 block journey. Now let's go. Hey, what is up guys? Trex here. Welcome back to another episode of the 100,000 block journey. When we left off, we had walked, I don't know how far, but we sailed into the night until we found a nice place that we could lie down and sit. So, um, yeah, we are back at where, wherever we left off and we have to continue on our journey heading east, which is this way because we have to head away from the spawn. So when the compass is pointing backwards, that's where we need to go. Looks like we're going to have some more sailing to do over this gorgeous water. I don't mind that. Sailing gets more done than, uh, than walking, but it is not as entertaining. So, yeah, it's a trade. Um, we're just going to have to continue going. I don't know how far we are, but this is day four, and then we get to check our distance tomorrow on day five. Um, then we'll get to see. I'll probably have to start doing more episodes of this. Uh, then just one, I'll probably have to do two days per episode so it doesn't go on for forever or whatever. So yeah, there'll probably these episodes will probably get longer, up to two days. And I think I'm gonna try two days um, this episode just to see if it goes well and how well it goes, and if you got if it still reels in the same amount of views as the other videos, the other shorter videos do. So I'm gonna try two, walking for two days this time. And uh, tomorrow will be day five, and we will get to check how far we've gone, which I'm pretty excited about. So, we have some questions from you guys. So, we have... Well, I accidentally cut that question off. Um, we have some questions from a guy named Terraria, exclamation mark. We have Games with Warcraft again. We have Popster. Um, and then we have some questions from the Prison Architect video that... Uh, that didn't go on this video, so I'm going to look at those. I'm going to have to expand one in a bit. But here we go. First questions from Terraria! Exclamation uh, mark. Do you plan on doing any caving at all in the series? I don't plan on it, but if it's necessary, I'll do some caving. Like if I need to get more iron or whatever, or um, uh, do anything, get any ore or coal or something. That might require caving. I don't really plan on doing it. I might build an axe or something. And um, I might have to I might have to cave. I'll definitely have to chop down trees. So it's not all going to be just walking. There's going to be some chopping and some crafting involved. Um, but for the majority, I'm hoping that this will be uh, walking. We are running into an island. Let's steer away from that. Oh, okay. Nailed it. Um, this looks like an actual body of land. So we should get out. Oh, and it broke somehow. Is that a dungeon? That is not a dungeon. Alright, looks like we can actually do some walking now. So, yeah, I don't really plan on doing any caving at all. Uh, what will be the end goal of Terraria? The Frost Moon? Well, since there's no... Ooh, 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 a pyramid. Ooh, 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 ooh. Why is it covered in grass? Interesting, interesting. There's no real end to Terraria. At the moment, uh, when Otherworld comes out, I plan on playing that, um, definitely, so, and that is supposed to have an end goal to it, but, otherwise, there's not really going to be an end goal for Terraria, I suppose that, um, when we, uh, when we beat the Frost Moon, it'll stop, but then when the update comes out, we'll pick it back up, so I'm never going to actually stop Terraria, um, it'll just go on. It's just going to rely on whatever the break is. We should probably harvest that wool for beds. That'll be useful. Um, so we can have more beds. And then we'll also be able to climb out like this. Let's check in these chests. Oh, fell down. Alright, um... There we go, okay. Uh, destroy this pressure plate, thank you. We have three di- Ooh, oh, more! Uh, th those aren't the ring of power, though. Uh, ignore that, it says gold ingots. It's totally not a gold ingot. We're gonna have to throw some of this stuff away. Enchant- SADDLE! 
Oh, that's good. That's really good. Um, what's it? What's Death Strider do? I don't know. More gold and rotten flesh. We're gonna have to throw some of this stuff away. So what do we not need? We don't need cobblestone or that. Or actually, we do kind of need the dirt. Andersite. All those blocks. The pressure plate. The uh, or that. Oh, that's stained clay. That's not wool anymore. Don't need the bones. Actually, we do need the bones in case we run into a dog. Knowing that, we do have diamonds now, so that's good. We have emeralds, we have a saddle. Um, so yeah, I think that's all that we need out of that. Yep, place down a block of dirt. Uh, okay, so that was interesting. We found a pyramid. Um, what was I talking about? In a gold tray. Yeah, so once we beat the Frostman, once we do everything we can in 1.2, uh, there will definitely... Um, there will definitely, the, the they won't be as frequent. They'll be replaced. The episodes will be replaced by other Terraria videos because I want to do other Terraria things. Focus more on living underground. I need to do an episode of that soon. So there will probably be one of those coming out soon, so that you guys still remember that the series is alive. But yeah, once uh, 1.3 comes out, we'll continue playing Terraria. We won't start a new world, of course, unless. Uh, we need to, although I don't think we will, because we can just create another world and be epic, because we have all that great gear. Um, so yeah, no real goal, no real end goal of Terraria. Certainly the final boss we have in uh, Terraria 1.2 is the Frost Moon, after the Pumpkin Moon, but yeah, that's really it. So I don't know what'll happen then, but th there's not going to be an end to Terraria. It's what's made my channel, essentially. So I can't just end it. Um, so yeah, Terraria is never going to end as Minecraft might. So yeah, knowing goal for Terraria. And his final question from Terraria! Exclamation mark, is what series do you enjoy recording the most? Now that's, um, that's a difficult question. I think right now I enjoy recording Trex Plays the most because I sort of redid the series where it's only once a week and every video is edited, uh, edited down to the best parts, whereas it used to be occasionally edited down, but mostly just me playing the game. I'm going to do some, I'm going to replay some of those old tricks games and some of those old tricks plays, um, so that I can make better videos of them, but I enjoy that one the most. I really enjoy Terraria, recording ter all the Terraria things. Ter Terraria Living Underground is great. Terraria 1.2, for the most part, is great. Um, I just don't enjoy recording Minecraft that much, except for this series. I do like this series, but yeah, mini games and uh, survival and such that just kind of got old. So yeah, that's I do like recording this series though. It's probably going to be one of the last Minecraft series I record though. This series, so yeah, I enjoy recording Trex Plays the most. Trex Complete is fun, but yeah, Trex Plays and Terraria. So we, now moving on to some other questions, we have Games with Warcraft, who provided six questions last episode, uh, I believe six. Uh, this episode, he's given us seven questions, so let's answer those questions. Probably shouldn't have looked away when I was r running near that pool of lava. Uh, his, uh, starting with number one, have you ever played World of Warcraft? No, I haven't ever really been interested in MMOs. Um and MOBAs, and, you know, RPGs and such, so I've never really played War uh, World of Warcraft. I think I've seen s one of my friends play it. I know they've talked about it and such. And I did watch a video on it once, but that video was a video called Leroy Jenkins, which I'm sure most of you have heard of. Um, we should probably camp out here for the night. We can go a little farther uh, if we go around there. So yeah, I don't don't play World of Warcraft, just not my type of thing. I tried to play Dota with some friends, that's a MOBA, um, but it just wasn't enjoyable at all. Didn't like it. I prefer sticking to my adventure games and occasionally multiplayer, but mainly single player. Uh, but yeah, no World of Warcraft. Uh, if you were at South by Southwest, did you meet Markiplier? No, I didn't meet Markiplier, but my friend actually... Uh, my friend actually talked to him for a bit. He said he was just in a corner on his phone, um, and he just saw him there, so he just went and said hi to him, and he talked with Markiplier for a little while uh, until Markiplier had to go to a panel or something. But So yeah, my friend ran into Markiplier. I didn't uh, get the chance to, however, but um, if I had seen him, I definitely would have talked to him because Markiplier is a great guy. Um, really wish I could have seen him there, but... 
It was still fun nonetheless. Got to play Star Citizen South by and it was incredible. I highly recommend you check it out. Um, but yeah, didn't see Markiplier. There are some other famous YouTubers that I kind of saw and knew that were there. I just didn't really interact with them or anything. So yeah, no Markiplier. Uh, how did you come to know Tom the Cube? I can't quite remember. I know I was searching up for something. I think I was searching for a Nerd Cube Let's Play. Um, that he hadn't actually done, NerdCube hadn't actually done, and since it goes by keywords, I saw the Let's Play name as well as Tom's name appear, and I saw that he did a Let's Play. I, I believe this is how I did. I can't quite remember, but yeah, I just discovered that his channel, and I thought, oh, this actually looks pretty cool. I should, um, check this out. So I started watching some, old, some of his older videos, which, he probably won't take offense when I say this, they're not his best videos, like, it, his most recent videos are great, but even though those old videos aren't his best, I love them, like, I absolutely loved his Prison Architect series, absolutely love a lot of the series he does, um, The Escapist, that's what it was, did he do, Tom, did you do a Prison Architect series, if you watched this video? I can't remember, I think, I think he did, um, I absolutely loved his Escapist series when that was going out on, um, so yeah, Tom the Cube, he has great videos, but yeah, I kind of got to meet him, or kind of got to know his channel by just searching up for a Let's Play, and he had a done one, I believe. Um, I believe that's right. I can't quite remember. Have you ever developed a game, number four, have you ever developed a game or written a story, and he also says random ones are scored, don't count unless you really like them. Well... I've made sort of a basic game of a game that I plan to develop further. It's, I'm, it's just kind of a side project, but I've got the very basics down. Is that a water temple? Can't tell. I've got the very basics down, so I am in a video game design team with a couple friends. One of those friends that met Mark Players in that group. But yeah, we are working on a game called Mugging Simulator. Don't know when that's going to be out. I'll tell you guys when we finish it. But I'm doing kind of a random small space game on the side that I plan to develop farther. And then story, I've written a few stories for school. Um, I, I, I wrote a story for that game that I really liked. I just don't want to give it away. I wrote a story in sixth grade. I wrote a story um, about the genetically modified animals taking over the planet. I was super excited about it. I thought, this is the best gosh darn thing I've ever written. This is the best thing that's... Anybody's ever written. Seriously, I was super excited for it. I was thinking movie and copyright and fil uh, film adaptation. I already said movie sequel and such. But it was just awful. Um, it would not have been a good series. You know, when you're young, you think everything is great. You think everything will be a huge success. But it's not. It's rarely going to be. But, yeah, that one I was pretty proud of. I'm pretty proud of a sort of a story. I didn't. Necess it's not necessarily a story I wrote. It's, um, a dream I had last night. It's the weirdest dream I've ever had. It involves Peter Dinklage, a Barnes & Noble parking lot, and the Pope. And if you guys want to, me to ever go into further detail, I might. I, j yeah, it was just the weirdest dream I've ever had. I can't find that boat. Where'd it go? Anyways, that's kind of an interesting story. Um, number five, what is your favorite engine for the games you play? Uh, um, Unreal Engine. That's an engine. It looks pretty. I've seen the I've seen the tech demos and stuff. Unreal Engine. Let's go for that one. And is Java an engine or is it just a programming language? Don't remember. Anyways, moving on. What was your first game and your favorite game in your earlier gaming days? I don't know if this happened outside of Texas in my area, but Schlotzky's used to have some Macs. In all their restaurants. I don't know if there's Sashkis outside of Texas. There probably is. But they used to have Macs inside all their restaurants at this counter. And my favorite game when I was younger was playing Wingnut on the on the Sloshkis Max, eating a cheese pizza. That game was fantastic. I can't remember that. I haven't been able to find it, but I love that game so much. It was great. Um, so that was probably one of my favorite games from when I was young. My other one, the game that I played the most, probably, was Age of Empires. I loved Age of Empires when I was younger. Um, 
my friends and I, whenever I was at their house, that was the only place I could play. We'd play it, and then when their uh, when their parents told us to get off the computer, we'd go outside into their sand pit and build um, structures from the game in the sand. And it was just a fantastic game. And then probably my early, one of my earliest memories of games, and one of my favorite games from the early from my earlier days. The first game I think I played was like Pajama Sam. And I absolutely loved that game. I actually. When those games appeared on Steam, I actually picked up Pajama Sam, and it's sitting in my gift inventory for me to redeem it one day for a Trex Place. That's what I plan to do. Um, so yeah, I have Pajama Sam back again on Steam. But yeah, uh, Pajama St Sam was one I played the most. Wingnut was one of my was my f second favorite, and then uh, Age of Empires was probably one of my favorites. So yeah, um, there's that. Those. Hope that answers your question. I'm gonna grab a drink real quick before my throat explodes. And then uh, he asked me, "What game were you most hyped for, and was it a flop?" I haven't really been that hyped about games in a while, probably because the last game I was super hyped for was a massive, 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 massive flop. The last game I really, or besides Terraria Otherworld, or Terraria Otherworld or Overworld, I can't remember the name now, that the new Terraria game coming out, um, I haven't really been hyped for any, oh, I know, so I'm really hyped for Terraria Otherworld, and I'm really hyped for Titan Souls from Devolver, which is the 2D adventure Shadow of the Colossus-esque simula simulator game that's coming out sometime this quarter, I believe, um, Project Cars, I'm not really hyped for. I'm just excited to have that coming out. But Titan Souls, I'm pretty hyped for. Trey of the World, I'm hyped for. But the last game I was really hyped for was Need for Speed Rivals. Yeah, because when I had a PS3 earlier in my console peasant days, I played just the absolute poop out of Need for Speed Most Wanted. I loved that game. I didn't 100% it. Um, but I played it a ton. Uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted, that's what I said, I hope. So, yeah, after that, I was really hyped about getting Need for Speed Rivals, and I pre-ordered the game for $60, had it preloaded on my laptop, and 11:59 came around, and the game unlocked, and so I was just, just crazy hyped. I was probably 12 or 13, or 13 or 14 at the time of this release, early 8th grade for me, um, so it's just over a year ago, I believe, that that came out. So crazy hype for it. Preloaded it and everything. Dedicated part of my one terabyte hard drive, which is already pretty full on my old laptop, uh, which I'm selling soon. I actually got a bid on that on eBay the other day. So crazy hype for it. I'm just taking way too long explaining how I was crazy hype for it over and over. But game unlocks. There's this really long opening cutscene, and then it's just running it. Terrible choppy locked at 30 FPS might have been even lower because of the uh, specs of my old laptop But it was just Ran terribly and then the pause menu. I tried to pause it to configure some settings The game just kept playing in the background. There's no pause menu. It was just awful 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 um, Still on it on origin actually I should try re-downloading it and seeing if anything's changed, but yeah, I was super hyped for it, spent $60, and since I was 13 or 14, I don't make that much, maybe even 12 actually, is that a horse, is that a horse, is that a horse, those are bunnies, I'm an idiot, so yeah, $60 down the drain, and I was just crazy, crazy disappointed, um, so yeah, that was the last game I was hyped for besides Terry Otherworld and uh, Titan Souls. And other one I mentioned besides Project Cars. Oh, Just Cause 3. Super hyped for that as well. Um, Terraria of the World, Just Cause 3, Titan Souls. Those are the ones I'm really looking forward to this year. Um, some games I'm not... I'm really excited that are going to be coming out this year, but not necessarily hyped for because they're already out in Fantastic or Prison Architect and Kerbal Space Program. Those are coming out this year. I'm not hyped for them, though, because I already know how wonderful they are. But yeah, that was the last game I was really hyped for. So now we have some... Thank you, Games with Warcraft, for your many, many questions. Uh, hopefully, you can provide eight this time. That's my challenge, provide eight different unique questions. Try and one-up yourself again. Fantastic questions, by the way. Um, so now I have some questions from Pobster, and I accidentally cut off a few of them, so I'm going to have to explain that in just a second. But he's asking me, what would you rather have? Oh, gosh, voice crack. 
sorry about that. He asked me, what would you rather have, a girlfriend or a boyfriend? Rather have a girlfriend, um, love or money? Uh, love. Love with a girlfriend, I guess. And I have to expand this to read more. Um, so I'm going to pause this real quick. Hopefully the recording doesn't poop itself. It's going to, I'll be right back. All right, guys, Popster's questions have been expanded. He asked me, would I rather have the pumpkin moon or the frost moon? I'd rather have the pumpkin moon because that's going to be easier to beat than the frost moon with my current level in, in Terraria. He also asked me, 200 subs or 500 subs? I don't necessarily know what he means by this question. Um, he might mean, like, 200 subs or 5,000. I can't, I don't know. Um, so I don't get that question. Um... And a man screaming you at you or a girl screaming at you. I don't know, because, um, if, like, a girl's screaming at you, it's shrieky and loud, generally, generally. Uh, but if a man's screaming at you, it's going to invoke fear and terror, generally. So, probably a girl screaming at me. And then finally, would I rather put my milk in my bowl first or cereal in my bowl first? Cereal in my bowl? What do you think? I'm kind of, some kind of freak? I mean, I'm offended, Popster. How dare you suggest that I'd put my milk in my bowl first before my cereal? What are you, sick lunatic? Gosh. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just messing with you. Seriously, though. Never ask that question again. Anyway, so, yep, those are pretty much all the questions we have time for. There are a few questions on the Prison Architect uh, number three video, it is getting really dark, so I don't have time to answer them. Um, there's some questions that I'll get to in the next episode, but we have traveled quite far this episode. I don't know how far we've gone. It is time to check our distance, though, because it is the end of day five. Ooh, are you guys ready? We finally get to find out how far we've gone. This is going to be exciting. I'll do some math to figure out how much farther we have to go. Just a second, this episode's probably going to be a bit longer, but that's fine. That's fine. So we're all set up. Let's ready to let's press the F3 button. Take a screenshot. We have traveled roughly 10,000 blocks out of 100,000. That is that is one um that's 10% of our way. In 5 days we've traveled 10%. Um, so that means that, uh, 5 times 10 is 50. This will take roughly 50 days to walk this distance. If I do one ep one day per episode, that'll take 50 episodes. If I've already done, f uh, that'll take 50 episodes, unless I change it to do two days. Um, two days. If, if I, so let's just do some quick math here. Um, so I already established, I've walked 10% of the way. So if I have 100,000 blocks to walk, and I can do it in 50 episodes... That means I'm averaging two uh, two thousand blocks, um, two thousand blocks per episode. So we've already established it's going to take fifty episodes, and let's see how many weeks that takes. If I do two, um, two episodes a week, and, and I have fifty episodes, that's going to take me twenty five weeks to do that. If I'm walking for one day, every time that is. If I'm walking for two days, it's going to take me. 12.5 weeks left. If I do it, uh, like, three times a week, it's going to take me, like, I, I messed up the math, but it'll take, it'll still, this series will run a little longer, but we did finish day five. This is going to take 50 days, roughly 50 days to walk. So, yeah, we're 10% of the way to our goal. Um, that's exciting. We just have a bit more to walk, but we're roughly at 10,000 blocks. So, anyways, guys, We've covered 10,000 blocks, 10% of the way there. Let's keep walking next episode. So thank you guys for submitting your questions. If you have more questions, be sure to submit them, them in the comments below, and I'll get, the, get around to answering them in the next episode. Uh, Games with Warcraft, thanks for all the questions. Add some more. That'll be great. Anyways, guys, thank you all very, very much for watching. If you liked the, this video, then be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for some more awesome content. I will see you all next time. Goodbye.